All right guys, welcome back to part two of this Hyundai Sonata. On today's video, we are gonna be doing a wheels off paint correction and ceramic coating. This paint has definitely seen better days. There's tons of paint work, tons of rock chips, tons of swirls and scratches. So today we're gonna to try to restore the paint to our best of our abilities and give you guys a great transformation. If you guys enjoy watching these videos, make sure you like and subscribe because we have a ton more videos coming soon. Also, let us know down below if we should make more paint correction and ceramic coatings, maybe some high end cars. You know, we like hearing you guys' feedback, so let us know, and we will make the videos for you guys. But without further ado, let's jump right into this disaster detail. Not disaster detail. Disaster paint correction detail. Start a new trend. So now that you've seen how filthy the outside of this vehicle is, we're going to go ahead and start the wash process. So for the tires and fender wells, we will be using our Extreme APC uh, along with a stiff green brush to scrub the tires, get all the blooming off, everything like that. And then for the faces and the barrel of the rims, we will be using our iron remover or uh, iron eraser is our name for it. Spraying it heavily onto the wheel before coming back with a inner barrel brush and a soft detail brush for the faces, the emblem, and the lug nuts of the wheel. Now that the wheels are done, we're going to go ahead and spray the car in a thick layer of foam uh, before we come through with a soft detail brush to clean around the emblems, uh, get in all the trim, all the door handles, every tight spot that you can't fit a wash mitt into. Uh, we'll be using a soft detail brush to clean before coming back with a wash mitt and washing the entire car.
now that we got the car off the ground, we can go ahead and pull the wheels off so we can get you some more before shots of how filthy just all the suspension components are, calipers. Uh, as you can see, they have some red paint that we're going to go ahead and get off and repaint the calipers uh, as far and as well as um, being able to clean more of the fender liner. And then we're going to get you some more before shots of the paint as well. So now that the wheels have been pulled off the car, we can take them outside, flip them around and clean the inside of them. Uh, we'll be using our mad acid and a soft detail brush to get in all the tight spots um, in the back of the rim before we take them inside after they dry and polish them out with the three inch polisher in our new ceramic compound uh, and get them ready for the ceramic coating. So now we're actually polishing the wheel. Uh, we're using a three inch polisher with a medium cut pad and a ceramic based compound. Uh, the three inch polisher works amazingly well. You can fit it in just about every inch of this wheel. Um, and the compound and the pad work together perfectly to bring out as many scratches as possible without leaving a bunch of marring. Um, so after we do this, we're gonna go ahead and spray it with some decon Make sure you get all the oils, all the residue, everything like that so it doesn't interfere with the ceramic coating. So the ceramic that we will be using on this wheel um, and on the paint of the vehicle later on is our brand new coating. Uh, it hasn't been released yet. We're still working on it. This is just a demo run for it, um, but it lasts up to five years. Super easy to apply. You can apply it in the sunlight, in the dark, in the heat, in the cold, just about any time you can use this stuff. And you really, really, really want to make sure that you get it on every single inch of the wheel. If not, you'll be able to notice one because of the shine and two because it's not gonna be water beating as well. So once you put it all on, you wanna come back through with a soft microfiber towel 
and make sure you buff all of the extra ceramic residue off or you will see the high spots in the sun. So now that the wheels are coated, we can go ahead and start working on all the suspension uh, control arms, all the components that are behind the wheel that you can't normally get to. So I'll be using our extreme APC, a soft detail brush and a steamer, spray the entire surface down, I'll work it in with the brush, come back through with the steamer, steam off all the hard grime, dirt, grease, whatever's built up on there uh, before drying it with a microfiber towel. And we'll be using the same process on the fender liners as well. For this side of the fender liner, uh, it's actually carpet, so we'll be using a stiff detail brush to break up all the fibers, break loose all the dirt, grime, grease, anything that's built up in that carpet um, before coming back through with the steamer, steaming it all again, and drying it. For the calipers, uh, we'll be using some brake cleaner, a wire brush, and a steamer to go ahead and strip as much of the red paint off as we can. Um, it's actually really hard to do this. The paint didn't really want to come off as good as we thought it was going to. So we got it off as much as we can, and then we sprayed over the rest that was laid on there with silver. Um, we only show one coat, but we actually did two coats per caliper to ensure that you do not see any red through the silver spray. So for the rest of the suspension components, the control arms, and the back side of the fender, 
we went ahead and used a undercoating to go ahead and give it a brand new black look. So unfortunately during this caliper, uh, the camera did die, so there is a little bit of red left, but we did go back and touch it up. So for the first step of polishing on this paint, we'll be using our 6 inch random orbital polisher along with a 6 inch microfiber pad and our ceramic based heavy cut compound. This stuff works great when paired with this pad, it removes a bunch of imperfections within just the first pass, although you will have to go over it a couple times depending on how bad the paint was 
this paint was super super hard so we had to go over it quite a few times um but this is what we do for the first step come back through wipe it off check it with the light make sure it looks good move on and then i'll come back and talk about the second step later on once we get to it
So for the second step of buffing on this vehicle, we're using a polish pad and some polish compound. Uh, this is different from heavy cut compound. It does not cut anywhere near as hard. So it's perfect for removing any marring that was left behind from the heavy cut and the microfiber cutting pad. So you wanna make sure you put on a, a decent amount. You don't wanna use too much or it'll gum up the pad. And if you don't use enough, uh, polished and you will actually leave buffer trails behind and the car will look like poo so we put in about four or five pea sized dots work it into about half of the hood is what we used here and it's really 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 good for removing all marring and all the small imperfections left behind from the previous step So now that we got all the polishing done, um, we can go ahead and prep this paint for ceramic coating, considering that the paint is almost absolutely flawless. We got out about 98% of all scratches and swirls that were in this paint. 
So we're going to go ahead and spray it down with some decon. Once again, removes all the oils, uh, residues left behind from the compounds, from the polish, anything like that uh, helps get off any unwanted debris, uh, as well as providing good lubicity. So that way it doesn't scratch the paint when you're wiping off all this stuff. And then we can move on to actually cer ceramic coating the paint. I forgot to mention before, uh, also decon the windows for this because we will be coating them as well. So now that we're coating, let's talk about this a little bit. We got a soft microfiber applicator and we're using the same coating that we used on the wheels. So it is a five year coating that is super easy to put on, whether it's in the heat, the cold. Um, I would not do this in the rain. It will not turn out well. And, uh, but it's just super easy to apply, super easy to wipe on the residue, so you're not wiping for hours and hours trying to get it completely perfect. Um, you wipe at times, it's completely off, and then from there on, it'll self-level itself, and it looks amazing. I want to talk about this coating a little bit more um, typically when you use other coatings they tell you to do you know half of a half of a hood at a time wipe it off before it actually flashes you can actually do the whole hood walk away go eat lunch come back and wipe it off and it'll be just like as you wiped it as soon as it flashes it, this stuff is literally amazing um, and as you I just want to do on how you apply it you want to start from one corner, go all the way down to a body line or a crease or something that you feel comfortable with stopping. Um, make sure when you go back up, you want to overlap it about 50%. That way you get full coverage on all the paint and you're not, not left with little tiny squares or little triangles that you missed when you're coming back on the upstroke. So as you can see here more clearly, um, we actually went from corner to corner and then filled in everything in between using the drop down of 50%, which ensures full coverage of ceramic on the paint before coming back through with a towel and a light and making sure that you have the residue completely wiped off.
a lot of people don't know this, but ceramic coating is actually really good for plastics. Um, it helps lock in that wet look as well as giving it superb um, hydrophobic properties and being able to actually uh, protect the plastic through the harmful UV rays. So for the glass of this vehicle, we're not currently working on any glass ceramic, so we're simply using Pearl Nano's glass ceramic coating. So now that we got the car fully ceramic coated, uh, tire shine thrown onto the tires, here are some more before and after shots uh, of this vehicle. To us, the transformation is insane. I hope y'all think the same. Um, if you're new to this page, smash the like, smash the subscribe button. And if you like seeing the outside transformations aside from the inside transformations, uh, please let us know in the comments below. We like making these videos and we would love to actually put more of these kind of videos on the internet for y'all to enjoy. So as always, we'll see y'all next time.